I really want to start with the congratulations. This movie is what I call awesome. Uh, I have nothing but positive things to say, and that's all I have. Uh, you guys have a fantastic right, day. Thanks so much. Right, Steve, great you. talking with you. It's great. Great mustache. <laughs> it's a good pandemic mustache. We like it. Uh, being, being serious, John, it was pre-COVID on a red carpet in London that I was asking you about Top Gun, talking to me years ago. So yeah, for, yeah. this has been, you know, you, so for all three of you, what has it been like waiting for this movie to come out? Because it's a fantastic movie that's just been sort of sitting there waiting. Well, the anticipation leads to more excitement, I think. So I think that's the, the, what was, what was a pot on simmer is now a pot that's at full boil. So I think, when when they finally take the lid off this thing it's gonna it's gonna really blow up in the best possible way so i i literally can't and i'm not speaking for uh my friends here but i mm. i can't i can't uh tell you how excited i am and i think people will also be uh duly rewarded for their patience lovely for all three of you guys uh i love tom cruise he is a true movie star willing to go above and beyond what anyone else is willing to do I really would like to know what, if anything, surprised you about working with him and seeing his work ethic up close. Um, you know, for me, uh, it was really his, his just, you know, and I don't even know why this should be a thing, but his astuteness with every part of the filmmaking process. You know, I think Tom is not just a movie star. He's also a student of filmmaking um, and a student of all the things that make a movie great. I've often said in interviews that, Part of his job is almost being a roller coaster director, just to make sure that we have <laughs> great thrills and chills and turns and spills and drops. This movie has it all. And so, you know, definitely watching that up close and personal uh, is something I'll never forget. Two things struck me. One is uh, how normal he behaves once you're inside the ropes, I call it. Once you get past the camera and your people aren't around and it's just you and the other actors, he's amazingly normal and it's it's like he's hosting a dinner party and he wants to make sure everybody's having a good time and everybody has what they need that's what set feels like so you feel empowered and like equipped to do what you want to do and then his energy on top of that is constantly keeping you that's what amazed me his his ability to keep everybody in every department engaged and enthusiastic about what we were doing which in turn appears on the screen so it's just amazing yeah, well, I, you know, I'll say this, he had just come off of mission six, where he broke his ankle uh, doing a stunt where he broke his ankle. That was like probably the best way that that stunt could have failed because the worst way would have been he could have died. Mm. Uh, and like he came off of that with a with a with a busted ankle and, and, and right into this and you would have not known that had you not read about it in on Collider or wherever you read it, you know, it was he was ready to go first guy on the set last guy to leave uh, as charles says his enthusiasm is infectious it's just he is excited to make movies mm. and there is something about oh that God. that feels like almost like a relic of a different time just a person who exudes this this enthusiasm for making movies and it's so it's in every frame of this movie it is just an exciting as Bashir was saying, roller coaster ride that that also hits you right in the feels too. I mean, it really does. It it gets it hits all the notes, and uh, it was the pleasure of my career to actually work on this thing. My last thing for you, uh, I really loved Claudio cinematography. Uh, can you talk a little bit about working with him and what you took away from seeing some of the visuals in the movie? There's a there there's you know the the technology uh, of the camera work in this is unprecedented. Uh, the way that they shot this and the ability of, of them to, to move the, the Sony camera that they used has the ability to sort of remove the body from the lens. So you can kind of put the lens anywhere and it's attached by wire. So there's the ability to, to get shots that have never been seen before, especially in the aerobatic sequence and the aerial sequences is I think gonna really make people's jaws drop. You see, you've seen a couple of the examples in the trailer but the actual experience of watching the film is going to uh, is is really going to uh, open people's eyes, and and that's that's 100% Claudio and Joe, the director. Like everybody was on the same page of really delivering a an unprecedented experience uh, visually. 
that note, I need to stop. I'm just going to say, can't wait to see Fletch. And you guys have a fantastic afternoon. Uh, I just had to plug that movie because I can't wait. Um, thanks, thanks, guys. Awesome.